Number 10. Palace of Knossos, built southeast of Heraklion, Knossos was inhabited for several thousand years, beginning sometime in the 7th millennium BC and abandoned after its destruction in 1375 BC. The Great Palace was constructed between 1700 and 1400 BC and the first palace was built around 1900 BC. Number 9. Gobi Kli Tepe. Located on a hilltop in southeastern Turkey, the Gobi Kli Tepe is considered the world's oldest temple. Dating back to 10th 8th millennium, making it nearly 11,000 years old. Excavations began in 1995 by Professor Klaus Schmidt, who views the site as a sanctuary. Archaeologists believe it was a site of worship and ritual or religious purposes. Number 8. The Amada Temple. The Temple of Amada is the oldest temple in Nubia. It dated back to the 18th dynasty. It was first constructed by Thutmose III and dedicated to Amun Ra and Re Horakti. Amenhotep II continued the decoration structure, his successor Thutmose IV put a roof over its forecourt. Later on, Akhenaten had the name Amun destroyed in the temple but it restored by Seti I of the 19th dynasty. Number 7. The Gontija Temples. Older than Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Egypt, the two Gontija temples in Zagra, Gozo, the second largest island in Malta. They stand at the end of the Zagra Plateau, facing towards the southeast and are enclosed within a boundary wall. They are listed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Number 6. Hagar Kim and Najdra. The two temples were built between 3600 BC to 3200 BC. The Hagerkim Temple, located on the southern edge of the island of Malta. There is approximately 500 meters of distance between Hagerkim and Najdra, a megalithic complex. In 1992 UNESCO recognized these structures as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Number 5. Temple of Seti I. Located at Abydos on the bank of River Nile. It was built in 1279 BC towards the end of Seti I's reign. It is believed that his son, Ramesses II, may have completed the construction. The temple was dedicated to Osiris and has seven shrines, each for an Egyptian deity. Horus, Isis, Osiris, Amun Ra, Ra Horakti, and T. Number 4. Hypogeum. Located in Malta, this temple was accidentally discovered in 1902. It is entirely underground and originally thought to be a sanctuary. The remains of over 7,000 people were discovered and a range of objects like amulets, beads, pottery, stone, and clay heads, shell buttons, and carved figurines of humans and animals. The most remarkable discovery was of a clay figure called the Sleeping Lady, which was thought to represent a mother goddess. Number 3. Temple of Hatshepsut. The mortuary temple of Hatshepsut is located on the western bank of the Nile. It was designed by Queen Hatshepsut's chancellor and architect, Senenmut. It took a total of 15 years to build, between the 7th and the 22nd years of Hatshepsut reign, who ruled from 1479 BC to her death in 1458 BC. The temple was built to commemorate her achievements and to serve as a funerary temple for her and as well as a sanctuary of the god Amun Ra. Number 2. Luxor Temple. Situated on the east bank of the river Nile, the Temple of Luxor is one of the most ancient Egyptian temples. Though now a tourist attraction, 
it was first dedicated to the three Egyptian gods Amun, Mut, and Khonsu also known by Chans and for the annual Opet festival, one of the most important religious festivals in ancient Egypt. The temple was built in 1400 BC by Amenhotep III, 1390 to 52 BC, completed by Tutankhamun. 1336 to 27 BC and Horem Habe 1323 to 1295 BC and then added to by Ramesses II 1279 to 13 BC It is about 850 feet long and about 213 feet across the front Number 1 Stonehenge Located in Wiltshire, England, Stonehenge is one of the world's most famous and oldest structures. It is believed it was built from 3000 BC to 2000 BC. Its construction was divided to several phases, at least three. Stonehenge consists of a ring of standing stones. Each standing stone around 13 feet tall and 6 feet 11 wide and weigh 25 tons. It is unknown what civilization made this structure as they left no written records. Also, we doesn't know the exact purpose Stonehenge was built for. It is widely believed that the monument was used as burial ground or ceremonial complex or temple of the dead.